So I'm Paige Tigerzat. Um, I'm with the uh, product marketing team here at SanDisk. And I wanted to, first of all, uh, pass around an ultra dim. Please uh, have a look and uh, pass, it on, pass it down. Um, uh, I'm very excited to be representing this product. It's uh, one of the uh, most exciting products uh, that I've experienced in my, uh, in my tenure in high tech industry. Okay, so um, UltraDim is a um, product that uh, ourselves and our partner Diablo have put together. Basically, P uh, Diablo has uh, put together the uh, ASIC that uh, translates the memory controller into storage. And uh, we provide all the uh, flash, all the uh, Guardian technology software that uh, my colleague Randy will be covering here uh, in detail. And uh, we basically have the go-to-market uh, that we bring to the table with, the, with our sales force and our marketing. And the cost effectiveness uh, of having our own NAND will also come into the play in order to provide a very cost effective solution to the marketplace. Um, back in January, uh, we demonstrated at <coughs> Open uh, something that's unique to Ultradim, and that is as you add more and more Ultradims to the system, your uh, performance uh, goes up near, <coughs> near uh, linearly, and the um, latency stays relatively flat. So what you have in the, in the red line here is the uh, IOPS performance increasing um, as you add more Ultradims, but the latency stays the same, and that's because of the architecture on which the UltraDim resides. It resides on many, many channels uh, of, the, uh, of the motherboard's uh, memory controller uh, and the implementation. So how has that been presented to the host to make that, to do that um, performance test? Obviously you've said it's Red Hat, but how is that being presented to the host to do it the test? It has been uh, presented to the host as a block, dr uh, as a block device, <coughs> right. like a C drive. Device is aggregated into a RAID 0 stripe typically. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay, so this is an overview of the, uh, the UltraDim. Uh, basically, it offers very, very low latency, as low as uh, uh, 7 uh, microseconds for most customers. IBM is actually demonstrating and showing this running at uh, uh, 5 microseconds for write latency. That's the lowest uh, latency uh, SSD in the marketplace. Um, you can get the uh, scalable performance, as I mentioned, through uh, basically parallel architecture <coughs> of the uh, memory bus. Uh, it is offered in 200 and 400 gigabyte uh, capacities, and uh, users can choose which one they order. Uses the, uh, the latest NAND technology that we have, it's the 19 nanometer uh, flash technology. And uh, we couple that with um, very high-end uh, high uh, uh, enterprise features. Uh, we have um, a circuitry here, which are a bunch of uh, capacitors that provide enough power uh, to the UltraDim so in case uh, the, there's a disruption in power to the server. It uh, writes everything that's been committed to the flash, and there's enough uh, current in order to make sure that that happens. Um, uh, it works on a DDR3 bus along with uh, any other uh, device that is DDR3, whether it's a uh, DIM uh, or in the future NVDIM, uh, it works transparently with those devices. Um, I'm going <coughs> to talk about uh, you know IBM uh, for for a minute here. So they have uh, released, uh, they have launched this product uh, in in January, and uh, this, it is being offered in their uh, four-way servers, uh, eight verse, eight-way servers, as well as two-way servers, and it supports up to 32 DIMs on a single server. So, uh, 32 so with 32 DIMMs, you can get to 12.8 terabytes and <coughs> a very high IOPS in the four and a half million range <coughs> on a per server basis. What's the connect connector on the top floor? That's, that's, a, that's just a debug connector. Okay. Yeah. So the final shipping product won't contain we'll that. And uh, IBM has also put out a uh, red paper that uh, is about uh, 30 pages or so that goes into the details of um, the UltraDim. I encourage you to have a look at it if you haven't already. Uh, it has basically performance charts 
that are very similar to what Randy will be uh, presenting to you that's been basically validated by the customer in there as well. And this is my last slide. If you have any questions for me, please let me know. Otherwise, I will uh, hand it over to Randy to get into the details of the architecture and the performance aspects.